Welcome back to the channel. We're doing squats today. A necessary evil. Squat, squat leg day is a necessary evil. I keep telling everybody that. When we're squatting, you wanna make sure when you squat, you wanna make sure your heels are always on the ground, heels are always on the ground, head up. Because you, once you drop your eyes down to watch yourself in the mirror, that's when stuff happens. So you're gonna keep your eyes up, head up, find your spot up on the wall, if you're looking at, heads up, ass is going down. Heels should always stay on the ground. Once your heel comes off the ground, that's when you have accidents, that's when you get hurt. So make sure when you're squatting, when you're doing back squats, make sure your heels are always down, make sure your shoulder width, your shoulder width, and make sure your head, your head stays up. You want to make sure your head's up. If your head, if your head is down, you can go forward. So if you're squatting, head's up like this. You're, you're trying to find something on the wall to look at. And you squat, you sit back, just like, like you're going to reach for the toilet. Sit back, reaching for the toilet, right? Sit back, you're reaching for the toilet. Your head's up, head's up, head's up. Come back, squeeze the glutes. When you start looking down, you're going to go down. So we got to make sure that you keep your technique perfect in squatting. That's how you mess your back up, and when you mess your back up, then you're no good to nobody. So make sure you keep your technique sound. Even if you gotta go lightweight, just as long as you get them, get, get them reps in, gotta make sure you make sure you keep your technique sound. Feet should always be on the ground, heels on the ground, head up. Once your heels go up, you're gonna go down. So make sure you keep your technique sound. Uh, just make just make sure that you keep it keep, keep your core tight. When you're squatting, your core has to stay tight. So you don't, you don't pull nothing. You'll you mess your hip up, mess your back up, your sciatic nerve up. You want to make sure you keep that stuff record. Once you mess up on that in your back, it's a wrap. So again, welcome back to the channel, guys. Thank you for joining us today. We're doing legs. As I said, legs are a necessary evil. A lot of people don't like to do them, but we gotta do them to keep your keep your keep your uh, keep your power, keep your strength. Remember, when you squat, you use every muscle in your body. And so squat helps your bench press, right? Squats, because you're using any muscle in body, squats will help your bench press go up. So that's what you have to do it, guys. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. Please share it with your friends. Share it with your family members. This is something that we have to do. A necessary evil. Squat is a necessary evil. I know people don't like doing it because it's doing with legs, but it's a must. That's how you keep our balance, guys. Again, we got Zach demonstrating squats today. We got Zach squat today with the back squats. I'm going to be doing some hammer strength squats on, on, uh, on the machine. You get some leg work in, but you gotta make sure your technique stays sound. Heels on the ground, head up. Okay? Heels on the ground and your head stays up. And once you stop about, once your eyes drop, you're gonna drop. It's, it's easy now with the lightweight. When we you put that heavy weight over four or five hundred pounds on, if your head goes down, you're gonna go down with the weight too. And you're gonna do them a mess up your back. So key thing with squat guys, you gotta make sure that we stay with our technique. If you don't have your technique right, you will get hurt. Technique's not right, you will get hurt. I'm over here on the tarot machine over here. Get the legs working. When squatting, want to make sure that the pack stays good, guys. Once you get out of your technique, it's gonna be a problem. Just keep your technique right when you're squatting. Again, make sure that we keep our mental right, guys. 
This is all mental. Everybody likes like squatting, but it's mental. It's, it's mental. it's a mental challenge. And we can't let that stop you from, not stop you from doing what you got to do. We have to squat. It's part of it. Leg day, like I said, it's a necessary evil. We have to do it, guys. I know people don't like to do it, but we have to do it. Stay on top of our game with our legs. Yes, we in the garage. It's cold outside, but so what? When you start squatting, believe me, you will warm up. You will warm up. Put, put, the, put, put the scully on, so put the hoodie on. But we got to squat. This is where your power comes from. So how you stay strong. Every football player should have it in his arsenal. Every athlete should have it in his arsenal. Have to do legs. This is where your power comes from. This is how we stay strong, guys. We have to stay on top of our game. You see Zach is demonstrating the squats today. Make sure his technique is sound. We have to make sure his technique is always sound when we squat. Squat, because you don't want to mess your back up. One false move, back is messed up, back is wrenched, then you can't do you can't do nothing. You're getting out of commission. So we gotta make sure that we stay sound in our technique. Hi to the angels. Angels, how you guys doing today? Hope you guys had a great weekend. Hope you guys had a great Sunday. Shout out to the angels. Marky Mark and the crew, how you guys doing, guys? Hope you guys, hope you guys had, a, had a great, great, great weekend. Make sure you guys keep continuing to send, send, send messages out to Tower Perry for our angels, so our angels can get recognized. They deserve to be praised. Like I always say, they are worthy to be praised. Why not? Why not them? Right? Why not the Markies? Why not the Noahs? Right? Why not? Why not the Ethans? Why not the, the Shawns? Right? Why not? How about Brother Timmy? How come, uh, he should be able to get a shout out from, from Tyler Perry. He's worthy to be praised. All of, our, all of our angels are worthy to be praised. I don't get enough, I'm not getting more, I'm not getting more names to shout them out. Hey, be proud of you, be proud of your angel. Give us the names, we'll shout them out. So everybody can know about our angels. They are worthy to be praised. So let's get, let's get it guys. Angels, we love you guys. One love. Keep on, keep on, guys, keep on. And, and shout out to the angels' parents. I know it's not easy. And we appreciate you guys for hanging in there and, and loving your kids. Amen. Jack Fox, if we put his belt on, take that belt on the back. Squat to give you that belt back and that, that support for the back. We start going a little heavy just for that support in your back to make sure that you're good. Right? So that's why we wear that belt for support. You have the collars on, make sure nothing flies off while you're squatting. When you're squatting, you want to make sure every technique, everything is right in the bar. Bar is right, collar is right, plates are right. You want to make sure everything is right. Well, nothing mess with the mental. Like again, Mike was saying, our mental has to be tough. Has to have mental, 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 mentally tough. That's about the, he's, you see, he's squatting with shoes off. Some people squat that way. I like, I, like, I, like, I like to squat my shoes on for that support. For So, so I'm not I'm coming out the bucket, I'm not slipping and sliding. You know, some people are different. He's going to make sure that he goes under. He's going to make sure that he finds that spot in his back that's comfortable, comfortable for him. Because all the squatter knows that spot on his back is comfortable for him. If that spot ain't right, he will not be comfortable. So we got to make sure that spot is right on our back. You always tell squatters, but we should get the mark on his back from squatting. I'm telling him to go in so he can find the spot so he knows where he's at when he's squatting. You gotta make sure that if you talk to him, he go all the way into the back. I would say go all to the back so you know you hit the back of the, you hit the, back of the uh, squat rack so you know you're at. This is the parent strength. 
Power tech squat. Easy on your back. In our age, 55, 60 years old, we don't need to go all back squats. One through cool, but get older, you do some squats like that. Hammer strength squats, power tech squats. Easy on your back, easy on your body, and you're still able to get that leg workout in. That's so important. You're still able to get the leg workout work in. That's what's so cool. Or again, we're gonna have the last couple sessions where we're doing dumbbell squats, right? You can do that. So if there's no space. Or not to get the not to get no leg work out of it. You don't have to do back squats like Zach is doing. You do dumbbell squats. You do hacks, you do the uh power tech or hammer stem squats. You do that. Still working, still working the legs. Remember, we can't let our ego get into us into the gym. Once you allow your ego start running away through the gym, some people get hurt. So we gotta be smart when we train, especially when we're dealing with your back, dealing with deadlifts, dealing with squats. We gotta be smart when we train. All takes a little action to have to be mess your back up so you can't train. So we gotta be smart. We can never let our ego, e ego get, get, in, get in to play when we start training. Like I said, leave that ego in the street. Leave it, in the, leave it out in the car. Don't bring your ego in the gym. Because you, you'll be out hurt that you can't train, then you're losing all them gains that you got. So let's be smart when we train, guys. Yes, again, guys, everything is mental. If our mental is not right, our physical won't be right, right? But we got to make sure that we stay sharp, right? Stay sharp. Don't let negativity come into our brain. That's what we've been talking about. That's what we've been preaching on, about negativity. Leave the negative people out your lives. If they're negative, leave them alone. We don't, we don't want no bad news. We no negative people around us. Once we allow negative, negativity in our lives, then if it festers in our brain, then you can't function, right? So we got to be able to function. Can't let negativity in our life. Stay positive, right? We don't allow fear to come into our brain. Once you allow fear into your brain, it beats you already. So we can't allow fear into our brain. Once you allow that to fester negativity, you're done. It's hard to get out. You gotta take, to take, you gotta take, you gotta take a special person to, to, to defeat that. So don't allow, so don't allow, allow in your circle anyway. If, you, if a person's negative in your life, get that person out your life, whatever. When no people are negative, get them out your life. But you don't need that, you don't need that negative energy. All positive energy, that's what we're preaching, right? Positive energy is preaching peace and love. If you don't have them things around me, you can't be around me. Real simple. That's gonna do another, he's gonna do another set of squats, of, of, of back squats. We make sure his technique is right, we'll make sure his head stays up, make sure his eye stays up, make sure his heels stay down. Once your heels start going up, that's when you're going to start going forward. And we don't want to go forward. That's, that's how you mess up your back. Mess your back up, mess your neck up, and everything else. So all that weight on your, be on your neck and your head. So we don't want to go, we don't even want to go through them, them, them uh, pep piles. We don't want to do that. So we have to continue to be smart when we train. Continue to take our protein before we work out. Take our protein after we work out. Make sure we continue to get our rest at night so we can grow. We rest. When we're resting, we are grown. When we're resting, we are healed. That's what happens. That's how you get your size. That's how you get your power, right? That's what we want. That's, our, that's our goal, right? Good size and power. Let's do another, another, another set. Everything is muscle memory. It should be the same, same routine every time you go to the Right. Find the spine on the back. Come out one, two, and squat. That's how you talk. It's just going to be squat. One, two. Hold up. And squat. Good job. Good job. Hit up. Keep your eyes up. There you go. Eyes up. There you go. Good job. Eyes up. Good job. 
Walking in, walking in, walking in, walking in, walking in, walking in, walking in. Yes, we got it. Yes. Length, length gain, like I said, is a necessary evil. People are always doing it, but we know it's a must. It has to be done. Because we know it's getting over with. So keep your sides. That's how we stay thick. Again, when we're doing squats, technique gotta be sound. Have to do no crazy weight. So make sure your technique sound. Put your reps right. What we're gonna try to do to our power, our size, right? Get them glutes right. We don't use, we, we do squats. You don't have to worry about no butt, no butt shots. Cause you're doing the leg work. So people, people want the fast, the easy way out. Like on the legs, so I get the squats. Real simple. Take your protein, take your protein. Eat, get your calories in. Good calories, make sure we get the good, we're getting good calories in to where that we, to where we train guys. Yes, good calories. Remember, what we put into our bodies, it's gonna affect us, right? So again, guys, make sure in the years coming, make sure you get your doctors, get your physicals, right? Make sure that you get your, make your appointments next year for your, for your in the colonoscopies, in the endonoscopies, for your, for, for, your, uh, for, for your foot doctor. Make sure you go to him, get your, for your feet, for your feet checked. Get your eyes checked. Get all the different things out the way beginning of the year. So you know what's going on with your body, right? Men, stop being afraid to go to the doctors. Men, and women too, go to, get to your uh, ear, nose, and throat doctor and get that sleep apnea test done. Keep on talking about it, guys. Get it done. You have insurance. Go take care of that. There's no reason why we shouldn't, shouldn't be getting that done. So you know what's going on. So, so I, bet you, I bet you get that done, you'll get a great night's sleep. But it's all about... You're making a choice. Go get it done. At least you know how you sleep at night. And you wonder why you're probably waking up snoring and, and how many times you stop breathing an hour, right? So don't you be that one to where you, you, you pass away because you didn't go get your, your, your sleep apnea test done. Guys, like I said, you got insurance. Go get it done. Right? So Zach's going to do another set of, uh, of squats. He's going to stay with this weight right here. This is 200 pounds he has on the bar. We're going to, again, you know, Again, people like those squats, but we know it's a necessary evil. People love the bench and everything else, do arm workout and stuff. But you can go any squat rack in America, you can go any gym in America and squat, and get a squat rack. But a lot of people don't want to do it. So you got to do legs. That's where your power comes from. That's how you know you can be strong. That's where your power comes from. You, when you hit someone, you ain't driving on just all the body. You're coming from bottom, to bottom up. That balance, right? You need that balance. That's what we need. That's why we do it, guys. This is why we squat. So we can keep your balance, keep your strength, right? Train smart, the squat smart. We don't need a lot of weight. You know, you, you only like did this enough to get, get that workout, and guys. We look too young to mess with your backs up, right? So get the decent weight. Do what you gotta do. Again, like, like I said before, leave your ego in the gym. Leave, leave your ego in the street. Don't hurt yourself or get anywhere. All we trying to do, guys, is keep this blood moving, right? Keep this, keep this blood pumping. What about us there? Get them beats in, right? So we can keep our blood pumping. Keep the blood pumping, keep that blood moving, right? Let's keep the blood moving, guys. And when everything with the squat, make sure you hit your chest, take me down, pack to where everything is muscle memory. You're gonna go in the same way every time. You're gonna go and hit the bar every way at the same time. You're gonna put the bar in that same spot on your back every time. You come out, so you put the bar, come out that rack. One, two. Should be on a whole bunch of steps going back. Why? Because that's how you get hurt. You mess around and stumble going five steps back, right? 
So this is why we do the one, two. Get the bar, come out the rack, one, two, and squat. You never could do a thousand steps backwards. That's how you get your chance for your tripping. We don't want to do that. That's why you do one, two, you're out. He's fine right now, he's fine, he's fine, he's fine on his back right now. He's gonna come out the rack, come up, one, two, you get it. He's gonna be up, he's gonna be sliding. There you go. Get it up. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. The heels are down. The eyes are up. He does the heels are down. Head up, eyes up, eyes up. There we go. Good job. Good job. Muscle up. Muscle up. Upper body too. So muscle up. There you go. Muscle up. Eyes up. Eyes up. Walk it in. 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 Two minutes. And make sure that we always, always keep our eyes up. Make sure that. See, a lot of times, the technique, technique a lot is the squat, and when you bring that weight up, you use your upper body to help you. So we call it muscle on up. So have your upper body help you too. Your muscle on up. So this time, it's all legs. All that comes with time, doing technique, and technique, and then it's time. Don't that technique. So we gotta make sure every time you squat, when I back squat, that technique gotta be sound. It's like muscle memory. Every time you do it, from muscle memory, it's gonna be something that you could do in your sleep, but you've been doing it so much. Probably not finding that spike on your back. Boom. Come out the rack, clear it. One, two. 9,000 steps coming back. That's how you get hurt. That's how you stumble and get hurt. All that weight. Come out the rack, so you one, two. Bow, bow. Squatting, sit. All right, head up. Head has to stay up. If you keep your head up, your heels are gonna stay down. Once your heels go up, you're gonna go down. Most of the time that bar will come on your neck, hurt your neck and back. So that's why we gotta keep technique sound, be smart when we train. If you're doing any type of back work, we have to be smart. So putting that bar on your back, we gotta be smart. We gotta, we gotta be smart how we do it, guys. Right? Again, everything we do what? Is what? Mental. We can't be afraid to come in here and squat. A lot of people don't like to squat, right? So that's why they don't squat, because they fear, right? So you can't fear putting the bar on your back and squat. You can't fear doing legs. Legs are going to help us grow, right? Legs are going to give us that additional size. That's what legs are going to do. So this is what we do, right? Legs are going to give us that power that we need, right? for other exercises, for our bench press, right? Because remember, our men, remember now, squatting helps us, helps us with our testosterone, helps build it up, right? So that's why we squat. Because we coming from down, right? Coming up, right? So we need that testosterone all through our, our, our body. So that's another reason why for us to squat, guys. So we gotta be smart in how we do it, right? Make sure we squat, do what we gotta do. Again, it doesn't matter to us what, what the temperature is out here. We squat in the cold, we squat in the heat. It's all what? Mental. Our mental has to be strong. We can't let anything affect us from doing what we gotta do. And like we always was taught, we can't let the elements affect us from doing what we gotta do. Whether that's going to school, or whether that's working, right? We can't let nothing affect us. Any elements get in the way, whether it's weather, weather related or whatever, if you got a mission, you gotta do it, you gotta do it, guys. Can't let it affect you. Oh, it's cold, cold in the garage. Believe me, once you start squatting, oh, you gonna warm up. So if you start deadlifting, you gonna warm up. So this is why we're doing it. So you can't use that as an excuse for us cold in the garage. Man, we ain't, we ain't got time for that. We still got to train, man. All right, we start making excuses again. That's cool. We're failing already. We make, make, make an excuse. So this is why we don't make excuses. This is why we do what we do. We go grind and do what we got to do, guys. All right? So I'm going to do another squat, set of squats. So you take your time. Get ready yet. I go do another one. Get ready yet. Yeah. No. Yeah, this is why we squat. So I'm going to take another, another minute or so rest. And I'm going to hit another one off over here while he's resting.
anything in life, man. We can't let obstacles get in our way. Because it's going to try. It's going to try. But we're going to continue. Just keep on fighting through it. Especially when you know you're right. So we got to keep on doing what we got to do, guys. Can't let obstacles get in our way of training, life, right? I just said that was a lot. We're going to keep on doing what we got to do. Keep on training. No matter what the weather is, whether it's cold outside, warm outside, we can't let nothing mental mess with our heads. So you let, so you let the fear get in there, or the devil get in that mental, oh, you can't do it, you ain't going to do it. So we can't allow fear to go into our minds. We allow what goes into our brain. We allow what enters and no enter. So that's why we got to be smart. See, as you see on the back right here from where it's sliding, you have the mark. So that's his mark right there. So he's going to take his shirt off. He's going to have a mark there. And you, that's like you always tell who squats. We don't squat. They always have a mark on that back. So. He's going to do the same technique that he's, he's been doing, but this is what he's been taught to do. It's muscle memory, like the back of his nose, like the back of his stand. It's muscle memory. He'll do, he'll do the same routine, same technique every time. He's going to make sure he finds the slide in the back. He's going to come up out of that knee. Uh, he's going to come up out of there. Come out, one, two. Hands up. Get over down, he's sliding. That's it, eyes up. Eyes up. Good job, good work, that's it, heels down, that's it. Good job, guys, good work, good training, good work. Good legs, power, that's where power comes from, my legs. That's where power comes from, my butt. That's where power comes from. Hit it up, that's it, good job. That's it, good job. Walking in, 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 walking in. Good job, good squat. So again, I'll thank you guys for subscribing to the channel. Thank everyone of them for supporting me, guys. We gotta get some more subscribers out there. Share with your friends, share with your family members, guys. I know it's the holiday season. Everybody's slow doing, slow rolling what they're doing. People shopping wherever they do. But it doesn't stop us from working out, guys. We still gotta train, still gotta do our thing, guys. Living don't stop just because it's the holiday season. We gotta keep living. We gotta keep doing what we gotta do. So that means that we still gotta work out. Again, we are worth 30, 30 to 45 minutes to work out. We work that. If you don't believe that you, if you, if you don't believe that you work that, shame on you. You should owe, you owe yourself 30 to 45 minutes a day to work out. You don't have to go extra on that. You, you don't have to do that. But you can give yourself 30 to 45 minutes to work out. You owe it to yourself. Why not? Be here for your family members. Don't you be a burden on your family members because you didn't work out and take care of yourself. And that's my got to take care of you because you were too lazy to go work out. Don't you be that burden on your family members. You make sure that you get in that gym, watch what you put in your mouth, right? And we train, right? Whatever your, whatever your goal might be. Somebody wanna lose weight. Somebody wanna be powerful, right? I'm all about power. I'm all about just being strong, right? I will tell you, I gotta win. That's my mindset. I gotta win. Got to back out, mix it up. I gotta win, right? So that's my mindset. I gotta win. So maybe for me, I gotta have power. I gotta have strength. Some people might want to lose weight. Some people might, might want to just be toned. Whatever you might want to do, let me know. Hit me off on my, on my, on my email address at, at, at glowpowercmd72 at gmail.com. That's glowpowercmd72 at gmail.com. Any things you might need, any advice you might need, I'm here. Holla at you, boy. But again, we got to get, get on these subscribers, guys. We got to get on these, we got to get, quick share Share, share with your friends, God. We need more and more people need to get this love. That's what it's all about. Us working out, sharing the love to where that we are living. Because why? Because we are working out. Shout out to my wife, Kim. Shout out to Brother Zach. Zach Brother Zach's with us today. Training with us today. Shout out to Brother Zach. He's training with us today. Yeah, you know, the people don't want to realize the work that he puts in me. So I ain't got to tell him to get up and work out and train. He get up the same routine every day. Same routine every day. Drink his coffee. Take his protein. Get out and work out. Go to class. Come back. That's the same routine, right? Right? Same routine. Same routine, same routine. Gotta get it in. 
Shout out to Sister Cheryl. Thank you, shout out. Brother Timmy, brother, to Ch brother Timmy, one of the angels. Seven y'all, brother. Love you, my brother. Love all the angels. I love them all. But we got to start putting our angels out there anymore. Brother Noah, shout out to you, Brother Noah. Brother Scott Garinger, love you, my brother. We got to start putting out there even more. Right? Brother DeLolo, man, thank you, man. You made me feel so good. The fact that you said here and tell me, hey, you are making make a difference in your life, man. That's what it's all about. But every day, I, if I can make a difference in somebody's life by them training, by them working out, this is worth it, man. This is, this, this, this is what it's all about. Right? Us getting it in, us making our lives better, us making other people's lives better. Because why? Because they feel better about themselves. That's what it's all about. Us making people feel better about themselves. Like I said, man, we can get in the day, we can get some heavy stuff in here, but we're doing heavy stuff every day, but I, I, I know that's going to scare people off. We're not trying to scare nobody off. We're trying to bring you guys in to where you guys want to train the rest of your life. Not running your heart, you're doing this stuff. No, we're going to train nice. We can get this stuff in, get our workouts in. At the same time, we are spreading love and spreading positivity, right? Again, like I said, everything starts with our mental. Where it starts with our mental, guys, we have to stay mentally strong in everything we do. The first thing Big Pharma want to do is give you some, some medication, right? We ain't trying to do that, guys. We trying to make sure we stay smart and stay mentally tough by not allowing negative stuff into our brain. We don't want to allow negative stuff into our brain. So that's why we got to be smart, be around positive people, Positive energy. That's what we want to talk about. We want some big energy. Big positive energy. BPE. Big positive energy. That's what we want. If you, if, you, if you spread that around to everyone, man, it would be great. But we got to spread it, guys. We have to spread that energy to everyone. Spreading that love. Positive stuff. Peace. We want love and peace and good energy, guys. That's what it's all about. Not that negative stuff. You got negativity around you, you're stressed. Won't well, nothing get done. Won't we'll have no gains, no nothing. Everything has to be positive. So someone negative in your life, say, hey, I love you, but you gotta go. You know, settle in this piece for my turn. Squats, he's not squatting. He's not coming all the way up, extending his knees. His knee always has a steady bend in it. You don't always come up and extend like on bench press. Remember, I always come out straight up with the arms. Go ahead and mess your joints up. Coming straight out here. That's why you don't see me bench. I'm here. Boom, boom. Now here, mess joints up. Squatting. Never come and mess your back up. Oh, uh, uh. Mess the knees up. Come in here, boom. Here, right there. Never extend your legs, so I just say you hurt yourself. All right, something, something to mention. But we have to make sure that we stay sound on what we do, guys. Stay positive on what we do. You know, there's always gonna be some haters, right? That's just the nature of the beast. Always gonna be haters. But you gotta look through them haters and keep doing what you gotta do. Because all you're trying to do is throw you off from what you're trying to do, and we're trying to, what we're really trying to do. And what we're trying to do is be successful. We're trying to be great. Right? Everything we do, we want to be great. So we can't let no one hate on us, stop you from know what you gotta do. So don't give them that energy. That's what they want. They, they, they want that energy, they want that negative energy from you. If they get that from you, then they want it, right? So we do everything they do, you gotta do positive. Like I'll do another set. Again, he's gonna do the same routine. Make sure his feet are right. Make sure the bar is right on his back. He'll come out, come out that, don't come out the gate. One, two. Again, why we come out one, two? We don't do all, the, all that bouncing, backing up. Because we don't want any chances of him tripping over himself and hurting himself. That's why I was talking, guys. Come out, one, two. That's it. One step, two step. Boom, that's it. Squat.
People put the belt on for back support. You know, some people, some people, some people squat with one, some don't. I recommend it. You just go to squat with it. And again, like I said before, leave your ego in the car, leave your ego in the street. Don't bring your ego in the gym. That's how people get hurt. You bring your ego into the gym. If you guys in the gym, watch the people, make sure you watch good, good habits. Don't watch people's bad habits in the gym. There's a lot of bad habits in the gym. That's how a lot of people get hurt. Watching bad habits. So you gotta be smart. Ask people, talk, you know. No, no, ask somebody, call me up. I'll tell you the truth. One time I'm gonna tell you the truth. So if you wanna know something, I'm gonna tell you the truth what's going on. Find the find spider on the back. Heels down, you squat. Yeah. Watch the techniques. It's the technique. Heels are down. Heels are down. Heels up. Heels down. Heels up. Heels down. Heels up. You might send the legs all the way. You need to do it. extra pressure in your joints. Good job. Heels up. Eyes up. Heels down. Good job. 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 Good That's the key. The key is make sure that he goes in safely, make sure he's good. Let him know, you gotta talk to him. He took the thing, go all the way to the back. You know, you go all the way to the back of the rack, of the rack you're good. You, Cause you don't wanna hit nothing and then have any accidents. So that's why we do what we do, that way. So, again, one more squat. Gotta make sure your technique is sound, right? When we squat, gotta make sure our heels are down. Make sure your, head, your eyes are always up, you find that? Spot on the wall up there, your head is up when you're looking. Find your spot that'll keep you going down. But if you find if you go down, eyes go down, you're gonna go down. So we gotta be smart in what we do, right? But again, it's what comes with constant doing it all the time, right? Comes with muscle memory, right? The more and more you do it, the more and more you get used to doing it, right? But again, or to do it, you gotta squat. You can't be one of them guys that are afraid to squat, right? So we know we gotta squat. Know this part of it, this, this, like I said, squat is a necessary evil. Something we have to do. Some people don't like doing it, but I know it's a necessary evil. Like linemen don't like running. But we know it's a necessary evil, right? So we do it. Squatting is a necessary evil. You want your power, want your strength, want to blow you guys off the offensive line or off D-line, you got to squat. I think uh, Malaga for the Eagles, that left tackle, he needs more squats. He got to get more power. I know he's a big, tall man, 6'8", whatever he got to do, but he got to stay low. And for him squatting, he got to stay low. But by the only beating him on his pass, on the, on the pass rushing. So he gotta learn to not stop oversetting, get back, get to use them big long, long that long arm reach he has, right? But I think he's a better run blocker, but he gotta stay low. And just maul those guys, right? And that comes with power, that comes with squatting. He'll learn that more and more and more his squat. I think he's only his five, fifth, sixth year, six years playing football. So more and more his squat, and he can use that power, his confidence. Right now he don't have confidence in himself. That's why he's keep keep getting beat by those speed rushes, right? Gotta use your confidence. Get in the weight room, squat, that power. So when you maul those guys on that run block, you start loosening the behinds up. Just stop all that pass pressure on them. And when you do get your hands on them, just maul them, get them down, just lay on them. Just stop all that stuff. Gotta be physical, you gotta out physical. That's the whole part of sports. You gotta out physical them guys. But the more and more physical you are, the more and more you're gonna be successful to win, right? So, we gotta keep squatting, guys. We gotta stay, keep our mental. Our mental has to stay sound, right? Again, Shout out to my family, Jimmy Dart. Shout out to you, my brother. Love you, man. Thank you for always giving me, giving me that love. I truly appreciate you guys. For everyone who keep on, man, just give me that support. Again, man, Zach, he's here with me, man. You know, boom. Here, Dad, let's do legs. See, I got, I don't have to, what you call it? Bag, he comes, Dad, let's do legs. Boom. Do legs, right? Shout out to Marty, like I said before. Put, put up with me. I appreciate you. Appreciate you. Shout out to uh, my brother, Rennie. Thanks, Rennie. Thanks for your support, my brother Junior. Thank you for your, thank you for your support. And, you know, and my nieces, thank you for supporting me. Again, guys, I love you guys. E, Kai, Shay, thank you for that support. Uh, guys, we just got to keep on, keep on, continue to be mentally tough, be strong on our spot, make sure that we do what we got to do. Again, like I said before, Brother Delolo, man, I thank you. Appreciate you. Brother Garrett, thank you for always being there on that channel, man. Every day, watch every time I, I, I download one. I believe you dead, bro. I appreciate you, man. Brother Lee, brother, brother, 
Lee, I appreciate you for you being support and telling me, hey, just keep posting, man. Keep posting, keep posting. I appreciate you, man. I uh, thank you. So no matter what people might think, guys, you got to squat. You got to squat. No matter what, no matter what people don't want to do it, it's a necessary evil. This is how we keep our power. It's how you get your power. It's how you get your confidence. You know you squat, you know you, you, know, you, know, you got that strength in your legs and your lower body. Bro, ain't nothing like running somebody over. There's nothing like running somebody over. The, the, the power and the power and the feeling you get from you dominating someone, right? And nothing like that power. And nothing like the confidence. I can tell you, this stuff, well, like I said before, is going to keep us from aging. Weight lifting is going to keep us from aging. It's going to give us self esteem, right? The self esteem that we need, right? That's what weight lifting does. That's what training does. And again, that blood flow, guys. We got to keep the blood flowing. We have to keep this blood flowing, guys. We, we want to stay alive. This is what we must do. So stop being lazy. Stop making excuses, guys and girls. Stop making excuses why you won't work out. Don't let me have to come looking down on you because you know what? I said, you know what? That person didn't work out. You owe it to yourself. What did I say? How many minutes? Anywhere from 30 minutes to 45 to 40 minutes? Bro, give it to yourself. Kenny Brunson, work out. Stop making excuses. Work out. I'm going to keep getting on you, bro. Work out. Stop making excuses why you don't train. You don't work no more. Get in the gym. Owe yourself 30, 45 minutes. You owe it to yourself. You owe it to yourself. My brother AJ, what's up, my brother? How you doing, my brother? Love you, man. But we got to keep continuing to train, guys. We got to keep doing the training, man. Keep on being positive, any Positive, positive, positive. Big positive energy. That's what we got to keep on continuing to do. Keep on spreading the love to everyone. So it's all about spreading our love to everyone, guys. About being positive. Same time, we spread love, and same time, we getting this workout in. Teaching everybody about blood flow. As long as our blood keeps flowing, guys, we're going to be good. But we sit around and be stagnant and don't train the way we're supposed to train. Like I said, you don't have to be heavyweight. We light stuff. Get it in. Again, don't let negativity beat you down. Once you let negativity get in your brain, it's one. So we're going to get obstacles in our way. Stuff's going to happen to us, and people are going to sit there Send all kinds of negative stuff our way. But we got to be positive and don't let that stuff worry about it. Don't let that stuff get to us. Once you let it get to you, it won. You know, sitting here, because that can be until you get ready. You, you, you can get yourself, I'm going to get this. Don't take long to get this out. See so many 59 year old men doing what I'm doing. Like competition. That's all I did. Bring them on over. Let's train. Let's get in there. Like I said, I don't see too many 59 year old men working out. Gotta get it in, guys. Ain't no excuse. Let's train. Reason why we gotta keep continuing training. Again, why? We want to stay alive. We want to be here, right? We want 2023 to be a, be a better year for us, right? We want 2023 to be an even better year for us. Cause we're healthy. Again, we're gonna get our blood work done. Like I said, I got mine done last Tuesday. I got mine done last, I got mine done last Tuesday. And uh, we, 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 we're gonna wait for the results. I should head back by tomorrow, hopefully. Got my physical on Wednesday. All about. If I'm going to preach it, I got to get done too, right? If I'm going to preach it, I got to get it done too. So we got to make sure we continue to train. Keep on doing what we got to do, guys. 
Keep on working out. Keep on working out. Keep on, like I said, if our, if our mental ain't right, our physical won't be right. So we gotta make sure our mental stays strong. Stay out of those psych meds. Everybody wanna take psych meds. Uh -uh. Get this mental, get your mental right. Keep negative stuff from around you. Keep that negative energy away from you. He's gonna make sure that he, he, he does the same routine every time. He's gonna find that spot on his back. He's gonna come out there, he's gonna come out the rack. He's gonna, he gonna, he gonna make sure that, that he can do the one, two. Not no one, two, three, four. So we do more, more time or more, there's more chances for him to get hurt from the fall. So that's why we're gonna come out one, two. So he's been taught that from day one. He's been taught that, how to do that. So that's why he only comes out one, two. Less chance that something happens. Less chance of tripping any accident. So we're just supposed to be, be smart and what we train. Come on, we'll be smart. You're gonna find that spot on his back. Come out. One, two. His head is up. His scales are down. And he's swiping. Eyes up. Eyes up. Eyes up. Eyes up. Good job. Don't worry about me. Good job. 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 He's walking in, he's walking in, he's walking in. Uh-uh, he's walking in. That's not for you, it's what people know that's what you're supposed to do. These people say, eyes up, heels down, so they know it. So you hear, oh, his eyes gotta stay up, his skills gotta stay down. This is what we're teaching. This is the teaching. This is the teaching thing here. This is what we're teaching. This is what we're teaching here. Well, I'm gonna set you guys down. All right, guys, we are done with the, with the leg workout. I truly appreciate you guys for being here with us today. I want to give you guys a, 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 a just to what, a, what we do here. Again, like I said number before, I know that people don't like doing it, but it's a necessary evil. We got to continue to train our legs, our whole body. But first, the main thing we got to make sure right is our mental. We got to make sure that we are mentally straight, make sure we are mentally strong in what we're doing, anything in life, guys. I appreciate you guys for, for, for today. I appreciate Zach. Here training with us today. I thank Zach for doing it. I appreciate you, Zach. Thank you, my brother. I know, I know you got stuff to do, man, but I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you, Zach, for being with us. But it's, again, that's that father-son bond thing. That's what it's all about. One day he'll be able to do this with his kids one day, right? All about that father-son bonding, teaching, learning. Like I said, I, always, I, I learn from him all the time. I'm not, I, I'm not too, you gotta be able to humble yourself. Because no, I can learn from someone younger than me. Yeah, I, I can. That's all about, that's how you do it. You can't, you're never too old to learn something from somebody else. So that's a good teaching point right there, guys. Never too old to learn from someone younger than you. Sit there and listen, be coachable. Again, thank you guys. Appreciate you guys, love you guys. Again, shout out to my wife, I appreciate you. But then with me, I know it ain't easy. Especially with all the parts and everything else that's going around here. But I appreciate you, love you. My son Zach, Marky Mark, love you Marky Mark. Shout out to the angels, we love you angels. We'll be shouting out to you guys tomorrow. To all you guys, brother, brother Timmy, brother Noah, brother Marky Mark, brother, we thank you guys, man. Sean, brother Ethan, all the angels, we love you guys. We shout out to you guys tomorrow. Guys, be safe. Enjoy the rest of the day. And hey, in that moment, this football weather like we having. Love you guys. Be safe. One. Love you, Charlie.